You know the legend, Chrysler Center is the house that Cassie built, as in Cassie Russell, who was back here for the game against Wisconsin for the dedication of the new player development center, loved coming back, and we had a chance to catch up with them about coming back to Ann Arbor. These kids today have no excuse, sir. You have no excuse. You, you have access to shooting, conditioning, nutrition, coaches, film. Come on. I mean, and at D1, it's needed, but it's the changing of times. It, it, it's time for this. I mean, if you're going to compete at this level, you have, your players have got to be aware of what's going on. And I think Coach Beeline and athletic director Brandon, I think they are cognizant of this. So when I saw that, I said, this is, let's suit up, man. I'm ready to play. Let's, let's, let's go next door and play, you know, because uh, if these kids are not motivi motivated by this, then you go in their locker room, they are lounging chairs, the player lounge. Are you kidding me? The iPads. Of course, I know iPads and iPods wasn't <laughs> mentioned in the, late, in the 60s, but look how far we've come. I mean, it's been 50 years. It's been 50 years. So, I mean, this is, this is great. I mean, and I'm sure... The players have got to be ecstatic about having access to a PDC. It's been nearly 50 years since the Chicago native first set foot on Michigan's campus, where he began a fantastic career that sparked fan interest in Michigan basketball and eventually forced the school to build Chrysler Arena, a building Russell never played in as a collegian. When I first made the visit to Michigan, I did not get a chance to see Yo's Field House. So I said, well, what's, what's the problem? I need to know where I'm going to be playing. So he said he lost the keys, so I never got a chance to see whether they had the padded locker room or the whirlpools or the swivel chairs, so I never got a chance. So when I came back in the fall, I go in and I see that, I said, this is where we play. Everything was going on in there, baseball, bats flying, regular bats, you know, track, but they had a tarp around the floor. It was a great floor, made it feel like I could, I could probably jump, but you know, but it made it, it was very comfortable floor, and, 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 and the support was loud. You know, so it was a great venue to play. The overall consensus last week was that the Michigan basketball program is beginning to bridge the gap between the old and the new, something Russell and many former players have waited for for some time. Coach Beeline is on the right track. He's, he's the right kind of guy. You, you can't say that about every coach that you meet, but I sense that in my spirit about Coach Beeline and, 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 and A.D. Brandon, because of the, a lot of people talk, but there's, no, there's nothing to back it up. Just like, I, you believe this chair will hold you up. You know how I know you believe that? You're sitting in it. You, your confidence, right? you're sitting in this chair. Well, well Brandon and Beeline are backing this up. I mean, they're reaching out to guys who could say a word or two. Hey, uh, I just saw a 6'8 kid. Now, you need to go to Michigan because of Coach Beeline. That, that's their thinking. They're reaching out. They're making us feel like we remember you. You know, we want you to feel a part of this program. Russell was inducted into College Basketball's Hall of Fame in November, and he really enjoyed speaking to the current players before and after Sunday's game against the Bowlers. I knew when I put you in the tough club, I knew some other guys were going to get in. Burt got in, and Holloway got in. Yeah, I wouldn't just want you just walk into the club. You got to earn to get in the tough club. We got, we, got other, we got other guys coming in, yeah. too. They're coming. They're coming in, too. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. And I wasn't just going to put them in there for sentimental value. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this generation has got to know they're blessed, and they are with, they're without excuse. If you are not an exceptional player, you're living in a cave. You, you're sleeping in the locker somewhere because Scott report. Coaches who are working individually with you at the PDC. You can go work on your shooting. If you're a rebounder, you can work on your legs, you know, boxing out, weak side, this type of thing. So everything is made available to you to be an excellent player and be a good team.